Hi and welcome. Um, if you didn't already know, uh, well, what I usually do is like at the end of each year, I kind of like uh, show a video that's just, like I, I upload a video that's to show off my various different autographs that I've collected throughout the year. So uh, I've been doing that for the past like two, three years now. Uh, I do have a website which I upload all of them on, including any pictures of me with the actual guests that I meet, uh, if I've met them in person. Um, but yeah, uh, for those that just, I don't know, don't want to look at that website or whatever, um, then I just upload a video, as I said, at the end of each year, just showing my different autographs off anyway. Uh, it's just... It's a hobby that I've got. I mean, I've been collecting autographs since 2008. Uh, I still like doing it, and so yeah, uh, I, just, I enjoy just collecting different autographs of people that I like, I'm a big fan of, and stuff. Um, so yeah, uh, for those that do actually keep up with my uh, autograph collecting website thing that I've got. Which I'll probably link at the bottom of this video in the uh, description part. Um, well, you probably already, well, you should know who have actually managed to get autographs off this year. But for those that don't, let's begin, shall we? Um, I'm going to save my favourites, like my favourites that I've collected this year, uh, at the end. So I'm going to start with the. But all of them mean a lot to me, but my personal favourites are going to come at the end of the video. So, uh, yeah. Okay, uh, enough rambling, let's get on with it, shall we? Um, first up we have one that's got my name on, and in case people didn't actually know, I'm kind of like, not a big fan of showing off my name. Um, mostly because I don't really like my name. Um, so I just like to hide it whenever possible. Uh, it's just a personal preference. So uh, bear with me while I uh, get the autograph and uh, yeah. And uh, I'm always like uh, open to like seeing other people's collections if they're too uh, an autograph collector. Um, so yeah, if they enjoy collecting autographs like I do and want to show off their collection then I, I, I wouldn't mind seeing it myself. So. No matter what you're into, I mean, I collect all sorts of autographs. I mean, some of them video game related, some actors, some sports, all sorts. So don't think that you know that I'm not going to be interested in seeing your collection because it's something I'm not interested in. Because I'm interested in quite a few things. So yeah, um, right. First one up, we have this one. Um, I'm sorry for the lighting as well. I'm hoping you can see it all right. I mean, I would have done this, uh, I would have recorded this earlier, um, but it's now like 5 o'clock and the sun's gone down and stuff like that because we're now in winter, um, so the sun doesn't really stay up very long. Uh, so yeah, unfortunately I've had to use my bedroom light right now, which isn't the best, I'll admit, uh, but what choice do I have? It's the only day I can actually show it. and. Uh, so yeah, hopefully you can see it all right anyway. Um, so here, I got this in person. I uh, went to London, uh, met this guy. Uh, it's signed by, uh, you can see when my name's covered, but it's signed by uh, Nolan North, who voices that character there. Uh, Nathan Drake from the Uncharted video game series. So yeah, met this guy in person. He was really nice and friendly. I was bricking it before I met him because uh, like he's voiced so many cool characters and he's voiced Deadpool uh, this character obviously um, and countless others uh, Penguin from Batman Arkham series uh, he's voiced some characters in the original Yakuza game on the Playstation back when it used to be in English uh, with English voicing and stuff. Um, so yeah, there's this one. Signed by Nolan North. Uh, yeah. 
nice little hat there. <laughs> uh, but yeah, and like it was his birthday on the, like, it was like a weekend that we were on, that we met him, and uh, it was his like birthday uh, on the Monday, which was Halloween. And uh, I just, like, I said to myself, I'm going to wish him a happy birthday. And I didn't think I would have the confidence to actually do that, because I was, like I said, I was bricking it. But I actually did. So I was quite, quite, uh, quite proud of myself for that. So yeah, I wish him a happy birthday. <laughs> um, so yeah. Signed by Nolan North. Okay. Alright, next one, bear with me again. Oh wait a minute, I've got another one here. Because I got these like these autographs are like back to back, so sometimes I forget that there's actually another one inside. Um, so here we have uh, yet another Uncharted autograph. Uh, this time it's uh, signed by Emily Rose, who plays the uh, voices uh, that character there, Elena. Um, and she's put my name, which again I'm calling. Uh, and she's wrote. Girl Gamers Rule, and then her autograph, Emily Rose. So, she too was pretty cool. Um, uh, I met her at the same venue that I met Nolan North. Um, yeah, she seemed chatty, lively. Uh, it was a bit confusing now because, like, the first, like, we were told that she wouldn't be there on the day that we went to the venue, and uh, so, like, we bought tickets to meet her and someone else for the next day because we had a weekend pass um, but no she was there on that day so the following day we only went to meet one person when it was expected to be two so it was pretty cool um, but yeah and that goes to my stomach I'm sorry if you can hear that <laughs> I have been eating for about a few hours now <laughs> I'm getting kind of tired and all I've just like cleaned, tried to clean up my entire place and it's kind of difficult to keep like place tidy when you've got two indoor cats that are always making a mess. Um, and like I said, I would have like done this ages ago, this video, but uh, I wanted to watch the Chelsea football match um, where they were playing against Manchester City and they managed to win, hell yeah, uh, they managed to win 3-1. Goal from uh, Hazard, Costa, and oh god, Hazard Costa. Oh my god, I gotta remember who's got the other one. Uh, yeah, I can't remember. <laughs> but it was three one. So yeah, go Chelsea. Um, but yeah, uh. Yeah, I'm a Chelsea fan. <laughs> um, well, I'm a Chelsea fan since uh, Antonio Conte was the manager of the team. Because he's kind of good looking and I can't resist. I'm sorry. Can't resist. He really is good looking now, you know. My poor heart, every time it comes on the TV, it feels like it's going to pop out the bloody... Uh, pop out my body, you know. Oh, God. Okay. Right, moving on. Let's not talk about that. Um, you know, I can't help it. <laughs> Okay, so there's that one. Uh, bear with me. I'm not the most organised person in the world. Uh, okay, what are we doing next? Right, we'll do this one, I guess. Uh, next up we have a Doctor Who one. So if any of the fans of Doctor Who is watching this right now, I got a Doctor Who autograph. Um, this time it's from uh, Peter Davison, who's the fifth, isn't he? Is the fifth? Got Hartnell. Um, oh, for what I could do with the flute. <laughs> uh, Troughton. Uh, Hartnell, Troughton. Who's three? Um, oh, who the hell's the. The doctor is oh that Pertwee guy isn't it that Pertwee guy and uh, then you've got Tom Baker uh, four five you've got this guy uh, Peter Davison 
6 you've got Colin Baker, 7 you've got uh, Sylvester McCoy, 8 is Paul McGann, 9 is Eccleston, 10 is Tennant, 11th is Matt Smith, and 12 is Peter Capaldi. So yeah, so this one is signed by Peter Davidson, who I also met in person. Uh, the same venue that I met both Emily Rose and Nolan North. Uh, so yeah, um, I now have, even though I can't really show you, but I now have uh, the autographs of uh, Fifth Doctor, like I'm showing you now, Peter Davison. I've also got the Sixth Doctor, Seventh Doctor, Eighth Doctor and Twelfth Doctor. Which I forgot I have to get out of my uh, case. So yeah, it's one autograph I forgot to show already. Uh, but I'll have to try and get that one out. But yeah, I've got pretty much all the living, still living doctor's autographs. So it's just a shame that I can't show you because uh, the autographs are on a poster that's not actually with me right now. So I will eventually show it, I will. I will. Um, so yeah, this one, Peter Davison, fifth doctor from Doctor Who. Where we go next? Any on the back? No. Yeah. Oh, one without my name on. Don't have to cover anything this time. Um, so here we have yet yeah, another Doctor Who uh, autograph. So keeping up the Doctor Who theme going here. Uh, this time it's signed by uh, Michelle Gomez, who plays the uh, Master. Uh, in Doctor Who. Um, she's probably my favourite actress, actor, whatever, to play the Master. I mean, there's so many versions of the Master, played by so many different people, but she just nails the part so well. She's amazing. <laughs> it's going to be a shame if she ever leaves the show, really. She's an awesome actress. Um, I didn't get this one in person. I pre-ordered it from the event that she attended, so it is a genuine autograph. Uh, and I did meet her last year, I think it was November, and I've uploaded like a video of when I met her and stuff like that on my YouTube already. Um, so yeah, I've already met her, but this autograph was pre-ordered from the event that she attended. So this wasn't gotten in person. Um, but yeah, it's genuine. Uh, so yeah, um, when I met her, she was pretty cool, pretty lively, pretty... She's good with fans. Um... Yeah. So is that one? Michelle Gomez. Got any on the back of this one? Nope. Uh, we've got yet another uh, autograph, and again pre-ordered from the event uh, that she went to. This time we have Famke Jansen, who plays a uh, was it Phoenix, Phoenix Grey, something like that, from the X Men. Uh, she was also in the Taken movie series, uh, which is also cool. And so yeah, this one, unfortunately, I didn't get in person. But like I said, I pre-ordered it from the event that she went to. So again, it's genuine. Um, I would have loved to have met her. Uh, but unfortunately, there was a, like a family incident earlier on in the year, which prevented me from going to a lot of events. Because I ended up being the care of this person that... Uh, long story, but I had to look after them basically, <laughs> um, which wasn't expected. So hence why I didn't get to meet this person. But uh, from what I read on the forums and stuff, Famke is like, well, at that event anyway, she was very hit and miss. I mean, some people enjoyed meeting her, some people didn't. Um, I suppose it depends on what type of expectations you've got with these events. Believe me, I know all about expectations with the guests now. After going to the Sherlock event, <laughs> my expectations would be too high, so I left that event feeling a bit disappointed. Lessons learnt. Um, but yeah. Uh, so there's that one, Famke Jansen. Uh, I won't go up this one as well. Uh, this one again was pre-ordered from the event uh, that this guy went to, so again it's genuine. 
this time it's signed. This one is signed by Dolph Lundgren, who was in quite a lot of like uh, action movies. Uh, I don't really watch him. I'll be honest, I don't really watch him, but I've heard of him, and uh, I just I don't know. There was something in me that wanted his autograph, so I got it. Um, so yeah, it's Dolph Lundgren. Uh, again, yeah. genuine pre-ordered from the event I went to. Uh, what we got now? Oh, one more money one. Okay. Uh, this is one of my personal favourites. Uh, not my overall favourite, hence why I'm showing it now rather than the end of the video. Because, like I said, I'm basically just showing you ones I like. My personal, personal favourites come at the end. Um, but here we have an autograph with my name on uh, from the actor Julian Sands, who is a really good actor, probably a bit underrated in my opinion. Um, but he's been in different movies, like my personal movie, favourite movies that he's been in is like uh, The Medallion with Jackie Chan. Uh, I also liked him in Warlock, uh, Rose Red. Was it Red Rose? Rose Red or. Well, it was one of the other. And um, where he played a character called Nick. Uh, and he also voiced, which I didn't know about until really late. Uh, but he also voiced uh, Valmont in the Jackie Chan Adventure uh, animation series. Um, so yeah, I'm a big fan of this guy. But unfortunately, due to the family accident, I wasn't able to go and meet him. Which I was really, really disappointed and upset about. But thankfully, the event was holding the option to like pre-order autographs. So I thought, well, it's better than nothing. So I ended up pre-ordering. Uh, so again, this is genuine. Um, so yeah, Julian Sands, hopefully one day I'll get to meet him because he's just an awesome actor. Uh, okay, so we go. And this one, I hope you don't mind looking at my bed sheet. I'll actually show you my bed sheet because my bed sheet's kind of cool. Uh, if I remember anyway after showing you these. Uh, right, this one here is signed by uh, Mads Mikkelsen who plays Hannibal. Um, uh, again, I didn't get to meet him because, unfortunately, the family incident and stuff like that. So I just pre-ordered this from the event that I went to, so it's genuine. Um, so yeah, I'm signed by Mads Mikkelsen. I don't really watch him, to be honest, but I uh, like the Dolph Lundgren one. I was just something just told me to get his autograph, so I did. I've never actually watched Hannibal. Or anything that he's been in. <laughs> but I just had an inkling just, you know, to get it. So I got it. Um, this one here, this one I did get in person. Uh, this one's signed by Victoria Atkin, who plays that character there from Assassin's Creed Syndicate. Uh, I've never actually played much of Assassin's Creed Syndicate, so I don't even remember what her character is called. Uh, to be honest, I kind of lost touch with Assassin's Creed games since like uh, since Rogue, which I still haven't finished. Um, so yeah, I haven't played much Assassin's Creed, any of them really, since then. But uh, yeah, this one was met in person anyway. Uh, so it's an in-person autograph. Uh, she's dedicated with my name on. She's put "Lovely to meet you, love Victoria Atkin." So. Yeah, she seemed great as well. Uh, it was kind of a brief meet, but most of them are. Uh, but from what I can remember, she seemed like an alright person. We talked about Assassin's Creed for a bit. Uh, she asked if I'd played the game before, and <laughs> I kind of told her I didn't, because at the time I just only bought it, so I hadn't, so I was being truthful. Um, so yeah, we just talked about Assassin's Creed and the different Assassin's Creed games and stuff like that. So yeah, it was brief, but we had a bit chat, so it wasn't that bad. Um, so yeah, there's that one. <coughs> uh, I don't remember when I got this one, though. I remember this one. 
You know what, I'll show you it. I might have showed you in a different uh, autograph video that I've done, but I can't remember. Uh, so this one here, uh, Transformers. I've never actually watched Transformers in my life, but uh, I didn't meet this person. I didn't meet, yeah, I didn't meet this person, so this autograph wasn't gotten in person. Uh, it was again, it was another pre-order from the event that these guys go to. So it's genuine, um, but I didn't meet him. Uh, unfortunately, because I didn't meet him, he was like stuck on selection for pictures. So uh, the only picture that they had available was the Transformers one. And like I said, I've never watched Transformers in my life. Uh, but I know this guy from, uh, he voices, oh, I forgot to Voices Madara in the Naruto uh, animation series and in Naruto games. And I think Madara's voice is amazing, so I just had to get his autograph. Um, if you're wondering, down here he's put, uh, Evil is a fire that must be extinguished. Optimus Prime, Robots in Disguise 2001. I don't know what 2001 means, maybe that's when I started doing Transformers. But I have no idea. And then his autograph's down there. So yeah, uh, what was this guy's name again? Holy crap, I can't remember this guy's name. Uh, yeah, some dude that their voice is Optimus Prime. <laughs> I can't remember his name. If someone wants to, like, who's watching this and wants to help out, then feel free. But yeah, I'm sorry, I can't remember his name. It's completely gone from my mind. I just, I can't remember. Yeah, so I apologise for that. But there's that one anyway. Um, next one we have this one. Uh, this one I did meet in person. Uh, I met in person at the same event and, uh, that I met uh, Victoria Ratkin. So this is an in person autograph. Uh, signed by uh, Troy Baker, who voices a heck of a lot of characters, just like Nolan North. Uh, he voices characters such as Joel in The Last of Us, uh, Snow from Far Fantasy 13. Uh, and countless others. Um, so yeah, that one's Troy Baker. Uh, I did get a photo with him, which is on my autograph website. Uh, he seemed like a nice guy. He was very brief, mate, though, so I didn't really get to say anything to him. Uh, we were like the last ones that were able to meet him too, because he had to go off, so that's why we didn't really get a chat, get a chance to chat. Um, so yeah, I believe he was doing some music performance thing because he plays guitar or something uh, unfortunately I didn't go to it because like pretty much after I got both this guy and Victoria Atkins autographs we had to leave so I didn't get a chance to watch him perform unfortunately which I do kind of regret but there we go um so yeah it's Troy Baker and in person autograph it's much better to like get to meet them in person uh, but sometimes you can't I mean, uh, it just depends. Uh, right, here is one that I actually did get in person though. Um, I was really lucky to meet this person as well. Uh, signed by uh, Shinji Hashimoto, who works at the video game company Square Enix. Uh, he's worked on several Final Fantasy games, including the World of Final Fantasy, uh, Final Fantasy IV, Final Fantasy 8, Final Fantasy, which is why I wanted to meet him, because of Final Fantasy 8, my personal favourite game, like, ever. Um, so yeah, but like I said, it was lucky to be able to meet this guy, uh, because uh, what it said on the website was that uh, it was like 40 tickets available on both like Saturday and Sunday. And you had to get one of these 40 tickets. Uh, I believe the tickets were like one per person. And uh, yeah, so we had to get one of these 40 tickets in order to be able to meet him on the Sunday. And basically he was at the venue because he was like promoting the Final Fantasy trading card. Uh, which is kind of a new merchandise that Square's released based on the Final Fantasy series. 
Um, so yeah, we were very lucky because like we got there really really early, but there was a screw up at the gates and the shutters wouldn't open. So like we had to go all the way around. We like. Which like made us like really like behind the queue of people to get these tickets and that was kind of I got a bit stressed out because <laughs> I was convinced that I wouldn't get to meet this guy. I wouldn't get a ticket um, So yeah, uh, but we did and he was pretty cool. It's another like met so many people I've worked at Square Enix now. I mean I like I've met this guy, as you can see, I've got his autograph, plus I've got a photo with him, which is on my autograph website. Um, I've also met... Uh, who else works at Square that I've met? Uh, well, some ex-Square members, like Nobu Yamatsu, the composer for the Final Fantasy games, I've met him. Uh, but he doesn't really work with Square anymore. I've um, also met Hironobu Sakaguchi, who basically created the Final Fantasy series. Uh, Hiroki Kakuta who done the music for The Secret of Mana, which is a Square game. Uh, oh, what's it? Yoko Shimamura, who does the music for the Kingdom Hearts games, which is also a Square game. Uh, and Yasunori Mitsuda, who does the music for the Chrono series, which is another Square game. So yeah, I've met quite a few Square Enix uh, employees. Um, so yeah. Shinji Hashimoto. Actually, you can see on the back here. I'll show you. There's me. Uh, there's me. Kingdom Hearts uh, soundtrack manual signed by uh, signed by Yoko Shimamoto, who does the music. Like I said. So that's proof. So yeah, maybe I should like put all my Square Enix like stuff in there, like my Final Fantasy VIII manual, which was signed by Nobo and. Uh, here in Obo Sakaguchi and uh, Mitsuda ones, and I should all just put them in one folder. So, like, they're all together. Look a bit better than them, wouldn't it? <laughs> um, but yeah, so there's that one. Um, yeah. Uh, right, what's next? Um. Uh, so this one is, I didn't get this one in person, uh, but I know it's genuine, because uh, one of my friends got it. Um, so this one was uh, signed by Mark Hamill, who plays Luke Skywalker in the Star Wars series. And I'm not a big fan of Star Wars. Uh, fuck, yeah, I've watched some of the movies, and the latest one, which is like Unleashed. Uh, that one sucked. Is it Star Wars Unleashed? Or Force Awakens? No, Force Awakens. Unleashed, I think, is the video game. Uh, yeah, that movie sucked. So I've watched some Star Wars, but I just can't get into it. Um, but yeah, this autograph was uh, obtained at Star Wars Celebration, which was held in London this year. And signed by Mark Hamill, who plays Luke Skywalker. Um, so yeah, my friend got me this one. Uh, so it's genuine. But I never met the guy. Maybe in the future I will. I mean, I would like to because I'm a big fan of uh, him voicing the Joker in the Batman Arkham series. The best Joker, like, ever. Uh, I, I mean, like, Troy Baker and so many other people have tried to voice Joker, but this guy ain't got nothing on him. Nope. He's the best by far, in my opinion. Uh, but I'm sure a lot of people would actually agree with that. Um, so yeah, uh, kind of like, put like a little picture that I've got of the Joker, as you can see there, my voice is that character, um, maybe one day I'll get that signed by Mark, if I ever get a chance to meet him, which is kind of like the plan, um, uh, but we'll see, uh, but yeah, so there's that one. have to like end the video I think to show you that one because it's kind of like hidden away so 
Uh, yeah, it'll have to come last. It's not my favourite though, like, because like I said, I was putting all my personal favourite at the very end of this video, but it's not my favourite. I might actually put it in during this one, maybe, I don't know. Um, uh, right, enough rabbit on. Uh, so yeah, we're down to the last few now. Uh, I'll show, show, show. show this one. Uh, this one's not my favourite, not my personal favourite favourite out of all my collection. I'll show you it. Um, so this one's signed by a, a footballer, uh, Jose Marino. Um, who now manages Manchester United. Uh, I'm not a Manchester United fan, like I said uh, earlier. Uh, but uh, I've been a big fan of this manager for like a long time now. I think he's really good. Uh, even though his team's kind of doing a bit poor at the minute. Uh, I, mean, I think Manchester United's about eight, nine, tenth in the Premier League. Uh, so yeah, but he he's, he was really good when he was with Chelsea, and that's when I started like him. He's like a god at Chelsea, uh, and I'm a Chelsea fan, so you know. <laughs> so I had to have this autograph anyway, but I only got it this year. Uh, I obtained it through like sending fan mail, so this was fan mail. Um, but I know it's genuine because I've checked on it, uh, asked people on forums and looked at other people's successes with this guy. And, uh, and all the autographs look similar but not the same, so it means like it's not auto-penned. Uh, Secretary hasn't wrote it because I'm pretty sure about that because like on the Manchester United website they actually tell people that they can actually write fan mail to players and f whatever. And they actually give you an address to do so. Um, so that's kind of what made me do it. And if it was secretary written, I don't think they would address put the address down, would you? Really? So yeah, it's fan mail, but I'm pretty sure it's 100% genuine. Um, I got a little little Marino Chelsea card there. Uh, his autograph's down there somewhere there. Uh, it's definitely done by pen as well, you can tell. Because it's like biro pen, I think. Um, so yeah. Uh, so yeah, Jose Mourinho, current Manchester United uh, football manager. Uh, do I have anything in the back of that? Okay. Um, oh my gosh, which one to pick? Oh, these last two are like, like, like my uh, number one favourites this year, uh, out of the collection that I've got. Uh, which one should I show? Probably we'll go with this one, because like, it's probably just picked out of being top spot, but only by a little bit. Um, but yeah. Uh, so this is my second favourite autograph that I've got this year, my second one, um, it's got my name on so I'm going to have to cover it, uh, and I've got bits of cackle over my hands, because uh, my headset's currently falling apart so I've got bits of black leather from my headset all over my hands. Okay, so uh, this one, as I said, it's got my name on so I'm covering it. Uh, signed by the Chelsea, the current Chelsea uh, football manager Antonio Conte. Um, I was really happy to like get this autograph. Uh, I sent it like a request through fan mail, so like the Marino one. This was gotten through fan mail. Um, but yeah, I was really happy to receive this one as a Chelsea fan and someone that currently has a crush on this guy. It was kind of nice. And uh, what made it up was, like, he personalised the autograph as well. Like, just put my name on it, which I'm covering. So, yeah. And I've never, ever, ever, ever... <laughs> I've seen a lot of football-related autographs. I've never actually seen one personalised. Ever. So it was kind of a surprise to actually have my name written on this. Um, but I know it's genuine because... Uh, well, a couple of things, really. Um... One, uh, someone else uh, sent uh, fan mail to two football players, 
uh, I think it was Eden Hazard and uh, Diego Acosta and got a reply from Chelsea saying unfortunately these players cannot sign as they do not have time to do so and uh, and thus they got like a pre-printed autograph instead so the class does a fail they got a reply but it was kind of a fail because they didn't get their autographs they were pre-printed um so uh, like yeah so like this one if this was like pre-printed or auto penned or secretary done uh, then I don't believe that person would have failed on getting Diego Costa and uh, Hazard autograph because they'd just do that the same way as they do this you would have expect would have imagined so anyway uh, so yeah uh, there's also something else I mean like know that this is genuine as well uh, uh, oh yeah, um, so you see that autograph there, right, um, so I like, got it memorised, because uh, I actually have another autograph that he did, uh, again with my name on, um, so I'm covering that up, uh, and as you can see I think the light's kind of in the way, but as you can see, the two autographs on the two different pictures uh, look different. Especially like the E, because like, the, well, all of it looks different actually. So it's like, uh, if it was like auto-penned, then the autographs would look identical. The E would look identical and the whole entire autograph of both pictures would look identical. But it doesn't. It doesn't look identical at all. So that's another thing that makes me think that yes, this is genuine. So uh, yeah, plus no one told me otherwise on the forum that I posted this on. So, and I'm sure people would have. Well, you'd hope so. <laughs> um. So yeah, I'm pretty sure, like near enough ninety, hundred percent sure that these autographs are genuine. So. It was pretty cool receiving this. Um, so yeah, both pictures signed and both pictures personalised. Uh, yeah. He's so good looking. I can't resist. I could just. I can't, I'm finding it difficult not to just stand here and just keep looking at him. <laughs> I find it so difficult. Like when he's like doing like interviews on the TV when like yeah when he's getting interviewed. I just like I just sit there, literally just sitting, looking at him, like half drooling, just just sitting there. Just... And like when he comes off the screen, I'm like, oh. <laughs> and then he's like, my mind is just completely just focused on his good looks, and I don't even know what the hell he's talking about. <laughs> so I'm like, dad, I, I mean, well, my dad, yeah, or whoever I'm with, it's like, what was he talking about? <laughs> uh, so yeah. Good looking. And he's the reason why I support Chelsea right now. Because before Chelsea, I supported Liverpool. <laughs> uh, seriously, just why did he have to come to the Premier League? My poor heart can't take it. So, yeah, this is that one. My second, his second favourite autograph. That was all the ones I got this year. Second favourite. Somehow. Uh, where are, where are we? Okay, so this is kind of my, well, it's not really my last one, uh, but I'm going to have to get the other autograph out of the case that I keep it in, because I kind of forgot to before I started this video. Um, uh, and it's actually my number one, yep, uh, that's right, my number one autograph that I got this year. My number one, my number one, one, not two, but one. <laughs> okay, right, uh, enough of that. Uh, okay, so here we go. My number one, not two, number one, favorite autograph. One. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I didn't stick my middle finger up, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my god. I think it's... Uh, okay, right. Uh, what are we doing? Right, okay. <laughs> so here we go. This is my number one favourite autograph that I got this year. Um, so like a couple of months ago, well actually a couple of weeks ago, uh, I sent fan mail to uh, Sega and well mainly the Ryuga Kotoku studio that's like a branch in Sega, it's kind of like a company in Sega um, and they uh, make the Yakuza video game series. Um, so yeah I just decided to write to them. Uh, I didn't expect a reply, but I never do when it comes to fan mail because sometimes you don't. It's it's up to them to reply or not. So I literally didn't expect a reply from these guys, but thankfully I did, and this is what I got back. Uh, I got there that I've been using to covering my name. That is actually a Yakuza fan. Um, I was thinking about opening it and showing you it, but. It's kind of, I just want to keep it in the plastic. Sometimes I do, I forget like memorabilia that's in this plastic or in this box. It kind of just stays in it. So, uh, this one, uh, excuse me. Right. <clears throat> uh, so this one is a Yakuza Kiwami uh, signed uh, picture poster thing. Uh, I believe it's signed by uh, Toshihiro Nagoshi, which is the executive uh, producer for the Yakuza series. Um, if you don't know what Yakuza video games are, you've never played it before, then one, why the hell not? Two, shame on you. Three, go away because we can't be friends. Sorry, if you don't play Yakuza, I don't want to know you. So go away. I give you some time, you can go away. <laughs> I jest, I jest, but seriously, it's a fantastic game series uh, that really, it's it's really good. I mean, people think it's another GTA Grand Theft Auto game, but in Japan, Japanese, it's not. It's much more like serious, and uh, it's it's it's. I don't know how to describe it. It's, just check out my videos because I've actually got a lot of Yakuza related video videos on my uh, YouTube channel. So just look at those and, and thank me later because uh, yeah, I bet you'll enjoy it when you play it. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Uh, so yeah, there's that one. And then I sent these pictures, well not pictures, the, uh, the covers for my video games that I have. Uh, so yeah, I sent my cover of Yakuza 4 uh, and they managed to get uh, Toshihiro and Nagoshi to sign it. There's that rough there. So this, this was a huge success for me. I almost, like, when I opened my letter, I like, I sat there and cried for a bit. Literally, I sat there and cried for a bit. Uh, because I didn't expect them to reply. As I said, when it, when you send a fan mail, sometimes you don't get replies. Sometimes you get fake autographs. But this is all genuine, and I did reply. And considering how much I love the Yakuza games, I couldn't help but cry. <laughs> I'm sorry. It just meant so much to me. You know, it's my favourite video game series. I mean, my favourite video game series used to be Final Fantasy till they destroyed it. But Yakuza, it keeps going, and I've enjoyed every single game that they've released. So it's my favourite video game series now. Um, I also sent another one, which is signed by the same guy, uh, Nogoshi. This time I sent them my uh, Yakuza Dead Souls cover. And there's his autograph again on there. So yeah. I'm considering I've never wrote a letter in to Japan before and like, I didn't know what part of Sega because I've got so many different buildings scattered all over Japan I didn't know where to send it, how to send a letter to Japan I mean I've got like different ways of writing out a letter to what we do in, in the UK uh, I mean the postcodes are different and everything but it got to the right place as you can see and I got a success with it so 
very happy with this one and it definitely deserves number one in uh, my favourite, personal favourite autographs. Um, so yeah, it's my number one favourite by miles. And uh, I pre-ordered Yakuza 6 which comes out in a few days. I can't wait to play it. I don't understand, well, I don't understand a lot of Japanese. I, I, was, I know some of it but not a great deal. Um, but yeah, I don't care. I want to play it. I don't care if you understand it or not. It's like Yakuza Ishin, I got that game. And I understand some of it, 90% of it I didn't though. And I still enjoy it, so I don't care. So yeah. I also got a letter as well, which I don't really want to show. Uh, but I suppose I could. Uh, they're kind of personal though, so I don't know if I want to show or not. But I also got a letter from them. Uh, they said uh, that they really uh, pleased that I'm a Yakuza fan and told me to keep supporting the game series, which I will, <laughs> definitely. I will support the Yakuza games till the day I die, believe me. Um, and they also said, told me who this was signed by, so that's why I know it's Nagoshi. Uh, Nagoshi, however you pronounce his name. Uh, and what else? Um, they also told me that they're hoping to get Yakuza Kiwami six and some other Yakuza games to be released over here. That's what they're hoping for anyway. Whether it happens or not is a different thing. But that's what they put on the letter. Um, so yeah. So it's cool. Very happy with this success. Probably and will always probably be my number one favourite successful reply when it comes to fan mail. So yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, probably show the picture. Of, I'll probably show you my other autograph, uh, which fortunately I forgot about. Um, I'm not sure whether I already have or not. I don't know how to. I'm going to lay this video out. Uh, I might put it at the end. I might put it in between this video that I'm doing now. Uh, but either way, this is my favourite number one autograph of this year. So nice fan autographs from. Toshihiro and Nagoshi. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Feel free to link me your autograph collection uh, if you want. And yeah, I don't know what autographs I'll get next year, so I don't know what I'll be showing you. Uh, I've planned like to send out some more fan mail, uh, but I don't know whether I'll get replies or not. But I'll be sending them out regardless. Uh, some to actors, some to video game companies and uh, see what happens. Uh, event wise I probably will go to some events but I'm saving up to go to Japan in 2018 so I'm not really sure what I'm going to be able to show you next week, next year, the end of next year so we'll just have to wait and see. Um, so yeah and this is Selfie signing off. Ta -ta now. Okay, so uh, this is the autograph that I forgot to get out. Um, so yeah, this is one more autograph. Uh, this one is a Doctor Who related one. Um, is this one? It's a uh, black and white contact sheet. Um, of, uh, the twelfth Doctor in Doctor Who, uh, Peter Capaldi. And there's his autograph right there. Signed by Capaldi. And there's another autograph. Uh, I got this from Andy Gotts, who is a uh, professional BAFTA photographer. So he takes pictures and stuff of uh, famous people. And he does all this sort of thing. And uh, so yeah. Uh, but I have met Capaldi. Uh, I met him last year in November. Um, I met him and I um, also met Michelle Gomez. Um, uh, is a really cool person. I was suffering with a lot of depression uh, last year, um, for various different things. And meeting Capaldi and him living up to my expectations, it made my year to be honest. So I'm still a huge fan of this guy. Um, so yeah. 
Um, so yeah, uh, I ended up buying this for my Gops, the BAFTA photographer. Um, as you can see there, it's numbered 73 of 100. So there's 70, yeah, 73 of 100. Uh, there's Capaldi's autograph. And there's Andy Gopp's autograph. This is my second uh, contact sheet uh, that I've got from a BAFTA photographer. The other one I got was a Sherlock, a BBC Sherlock one, which uh, was signed by another BAFTA photographer. Uh, I can't remember his name now, unfortunately. But yeah, so this is my second uh, second contact sheet. Um, and my second BAFTA photographer autograph. Uh, but it's my first Capaldi autograph. <laughs> Um, so yeah, because yeah, unfortunately when I met Capaldi uh, last year I couldn't get his autograph because apparently there was no time for autograph so there was no autograph session, only photo shoots, so I got my photo with this guy instead. Um, so yeah, I now have his autograph. So yeah, this is my very last autograph of the year. Uh, I mean I've sent some other fan mails. But I won't be getting any now because I'm going away for a month. Um, so yeah, I won't be getting those till next year. So they'll be part of next year's video. So I'm going to do another one of these videos at the end of next year. I'll be going with that. Even if they come like tomorrow or something. Uh, so yeah. Uh, so yeah, okay. Adios.